Ozzy. And I just wanted to say that before we get into anything else, I'd like to thank everybody um, for listening in. I know that people are disappointed yesterday that the Cleveland Guardian season is over. They lost. Uh, keep your head up high. Um, Guardians, I mean, nobody expected them to make it this far because, hey, um, they were one of the youngest teams in the in Major League. So uh, make sure that you keep watch for them next year. Speaking of keep watch, um, keep watch with the, this young lady and her other young lady, uh, Miss Shy Santiago and her daughter Rosie, which I am about to focus on right now. So, Shy, we were talking about, I know you and um, Cash were talking about, what do you do? When to prepare for homeschool for a child that is not here yet for if you want, if you don't have any children, but how do you prepare? Right. Um, so with knowledge, mm -hmm. uh, you read up on some really good books. Uh, I, I gave um, Cash some some um, suggestions because those are the books that I read. Do you want to share them with the rest of the audience? Yes. Um, Awakening the Natural Genius. In Black Children by Amos uh, by Amos Wilson, mm -hmm. uh, Countering the Conspiracy to Destroy Black Boys by uh, Joanza Kunjufu, and The Miseducation of the Negro by Carter G. Woodson. And that's, that's just three so far. There's plenty more. So you want to prepare yourself before. And I'm sure that, you know, Black History... Month is celebrated in your yes, school yes. every single besides February. Yes, besides that, yes, yeah, three hundred sixty-five days. All right. <laughs> so, I'm going before we ask your daughter a question. I, I, now she's she's lighting up, and she's prepared. So, who is your biggest influence as far as the Black history is concerned? Uh, black history. Who's my biggest influence? Yes. Uh. Wow. Malcolm X. Malcolm? <laughs> Malcolm. Now, Brother Malcolm said, <laughs> don't listen to entertainers. So if y'all listen to the Kanye, the Kanye West thinking that he's talking the truth, you might want to rethink that theory. Right. So he said Malcolm X. So what So what do you take, what teachings you take from Brother Malcolm? Oh, wrong, wrong, live, rest his soul. So much. Malcolm X, he, man, he spoke so much knowledge. Yes, <laughs> right. I'm always we're always watching um, the Malcolm X uh, movie, but he brought so much to the table. And and I'm not you know I'm I'm not a Muslim or anything like that. Uh -huh. but I respect his teachings when it came to uh, the mental freedom of Black people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially the part when he was like, "Who told you that your hair?" was ugly who told you that your nose was big who told you that your skin man that touched me <laughs> right because we're supposed to love ourselves mm -hmm. so miss rosie yes. um who is your biggest influence in black history well besides your mom that's a given dr martin king jr dr martin luther king. king yes okay and what do you take away from dr king's speech he like he explained the black history. Like, he told everybody, like, the stuff that he talked about. <laughs> but it was so sadly that he died. Right. We understand. Just Brother Malcolm. And, uh, uh, so, now, I'm going to get back to you, Miss Miss Shai Santiago. Your, we know that sometimes in black history, we have opposition from either our own or so-called the oppressor. Mm -hmm. uh, have you, uh, how much pushback or backlash have you received homeschooling? Uh, wait, homeschooling? Yes. Or just teaching children different languages? Because I know you uh, teach your own, but what about if you want, did you want to teach others? The Yeah. Well, Influence. Yes, influence. Yeah. <laughs> influence other, which is, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. we're, we're already influenced. Now, when we first started, people were like, multilingual, what are you talking about? Like, why are you trying to teach kids? We barely speak in English. Like, 
Why are you, you what you oh, talking about? Or Russian? he bought, or he bought like, his. Right. What are you talking about Russian in the hood? What is you talking about? And I'm just like, you know, and here I am. And I'm like, no, you have to understand we are already multilingual people. We are everywhere on this earth and we all speak different languages. So we're already multilingual people. Come on, y'all. You have to remember who you are. So, yeah, I, I got in, in the beginning, back in 2017, uh -huh. yeah, people thought I was crazy. Right. You're talking about, what you, you, what you, we supposed well, to be speaking you know, what? Right. So pretty much worldly, you know, there are. There are black Russians besides African Americans. Yes. There are black Russians. There are yes. black Arabs. They have like pretty much Arabs are our brothers. But you know, there are um black Ukrainians. There are black British people. And yes. you know, like everybody talking about Idris Elba. Idris Elba is not from this country, if right. y'all Drake is from Canada. So right. let's just be <laughs> y'all wanna go right. really and he makes the and, and, and everybody talk about Drake, but but Drake is from Canada. So I mean, yeah. So you got to think about that. We already have influences in entertainment and education in African-American people that come from other countries. So you got to yeah. think about that. Yeah. Yeah, you you do. And a lot of our people forget that even though that we're in different parts of the world, we are still the same people. We are all if you if you take out the time and you look and see what's going on in other countries. Uh, you'll see. Wait a minute. They're going through the same things. We're going over mm -hmm. here The self-hate the police brutality, they're going through the same things. Only her name over there in the other country, she just got another name. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She just speaking another language. Right. But we're still going through the same things. I have a there. different accent. Yeah. <laughs> so where do you see your influence being in the next five to 10 years? My influence? Yes, your influence. Uh, well, you know, like we're, we're trying to do this worldwide. Uh, uh, everywhere. I mean, we're already we're over in South America. Uh, we have a book over in Africa. Um, we I'm trying to uh, influence, you know, black children around the world, mm -hmm. so that we can connect with each other. Mm -hmm. So before I get to your GoFundMe. So you said black children. What about if other children want to join into this realm? Like, you know. Oh, all children can learn from us. <laughs> all children can learn and, um, you know, and, and learn different languages at the same time. You know, uh, black, white, Asian, uh, all children can come and learn from us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm black first, though. Right. Remember exactly. That. Ah. Yeah. Got yeah, you. There was an I, argument about mixed race and black between two brothers. I was a, on the rapid. I was I was coming here and I was like, y'all realize that we all from black. We all pretty much, you know, I'm saying the Jesus, same. The same. Yeah. Jesus is black. So, you know, might as well <laughs> right, get, a, right, right. get it all together. So, right, right. It's just this, 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 this social construction that's separating everybody. Right. And putting everybody in different places. Right, so. exactly. So, um, we're going to, like, the thing about it is, like, how can people do, what's your GoFundMe, Miss Shy? And um, <laughs> our GoFundMe is um, Free Colorful Bilingual Book. So, it's Free Colorful Bilingual Books. Mm -hmm. um, that's our GoFundMe name. Of course, Learn a Language for Fun, LLC. And uh, we we have a YouTube channel. We also have a YouTube channel where we're, where we're being the uh, the example for everybody, and it's Multilingual Stars Homeschool. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the YouTube, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That's our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and you'll you'll be able to see each one of my children speaking in different in different languages and, or singing. Okay. Like I say, we're we're trying to be an example. Mm -hmm. Well, it brings us since one of your children is here and has spoken. So if you want to turn, so Cash, you want to turn Miss Rosie's mic on, and you want to sing a song in by uh, in, in one of the languages. Language. You want to sing a song in one of the languages? Sure. Huh? <laughs> of course you would. All right. So the spotlight is on you, Rosie. Go ahead. You want to do? I don't know which song is just You're so silly. I got so many. 
Here, you know what? What about aff do affirmations for our friends? Okay. Mimi need and Rambo. Mimi need and Rambo. I am beautiful. Mimi need not so shy. I am enough. Hakuna matatas. No worries for me. Daily affirmations will keep me happy. <laughs> oh my God. Um. Uh, Sound the horns. <laughs> oh, man, that was wonderful. You are great, Rosie. You are great. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 you got to come. You got to come back with your mom. Oh, you got to come, come back. And it's like I'm sure that, you know, she's represented with you well. So you when you have the being an influencer, what is the biggest responsibility of being an influencer? Uh, the biggest responsibility of being an influencer is, I feel, making sure that <laughs> you are showing the right content to everybody. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm an influencer with languages, so I want to be able to show... You know, I want I want to be able to show everybody uh, everything that has to do with languages. You know, uh, I want to uh, be a positive role model. I think that's one of the biggest things to me, being a positive role model. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that, that pretty much that's enough. Yeah. So... All uh, right, so we got, do we got one more break in this cash? Yeah, we do. All right, so we're going to take our last break, and then we're going to wrap it up on the headline, I on Nerve DJ, WNRV1081.com. Before we go on our last break, Miss Rosie. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything to say before we go on our last break? Nope. You don't? <laughs> really? <laughs> Aya. One thing to say. What's that? <laughs> You are very wonderful and beautiful. Do not let anybody talk about you. <laughs> All right. You know what? I love her. She got to come back. She, you know what, Jay? You about to be replaced by Miss Rosie. Miss <laughs> Jay, the queen with the gold mic. We got the, the, the princess with the colorful glasses in the building. So we'll go take our last break. We'll be back on the headline. I on Nerve DJ's network, WNRV1081.com. <laughs> In the building, we're going to take our last song, so we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 